All right, guys, Zachary here with Backyard DIY again. And uh, what we are doing here, I feel like I'm constantly doing something on this compressor, but uh, this one I didn't need to do, I wanted to do. So I was at Harbor Freight and saw this automatic compressor drain kit. So item number 68244. The instructions are horrible with it. So I'm making a video for you guys. I've seen a couple other videos of this the same kit, but nobody really explained how they got the correct pieces. Um, and the instructions are just, like I said, they're horrible. They give you that brief diagram that doesn't say much. And then they give you a couple pictures and that's it. So what I had to do is the Harbor Freight kit wants you to use this nylon tubing, which surprisingly is, I wanna say it was rated for something really high. I can't remember now. It was in the instructions, I want to say like 2,000 PSI or something like that. Or 250 PSI, which is pretty impressive for a little tiny hose, but my compressor doesn't go that high anyway, so. Uh, here's, here's the point of this video. Um, this is for, this kit comes with this T that's already set up for if your compressor <clears throat> uses the piping already, the tubing. Well, mine's the older style, I guess. I don't know why they, some of them are brass and some are copper and whatever, I don't know. But uh, anyway, there's the T-valve, which I couldn't use because mine, for my relief on my compressor, which is what you have to tap into for this automatic drain to work, um, your release, if you don't know, or relief, if you don't know, is, once your compressor gets to full pressure, the relief valve will empty the um, pressurized head. That way when it kicks back on, it doesn't have the resistance, it's got a free flow. So that's what you're tapping into. Uh, if yours has the plastic tubing, then awesome. You're, uh, you're already ahead of the, the curveball and you'll have everything inside the kit. Um, I had to buy this T from Menards for I want to say like six or seven dollars. It's just a quarter inch um, compression fitting. All three of them are. And then uh, that goes obviously here into the side of your switch plate which tells it when to open and release and let the pressure out. Mine's running right around one, hold on, 122, something like that, 120. And I already did the hose so I didn't feel like you needed a video on that part, but if you do need added instructions, just let me know. But what I did here is I've got the T that Harbor Freight came with for a quarter inch down, and then it has the really cheap, crappy um, wing nut style, which isn't even secured to the threads. I'm turning that, and threads aren't even turning. So. I hate that already. Um, this is the old one that the compressor had on and what happens is if you don't get your uh, moisture out often enough those threads will rust right to your, your tank and uh, you can't turn it so I had to break that and then I had to break those threads off with a um, like a uh, one of those <laughs> rusted bolt remover tools. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Anyway, and then uh, off to that is the special little device that uh, has a hole on the bottom here. And it gives you just a tiny little purge once the compressor gets to full pressure and releases the pressure from the head, it goes down here and will give it a purge to open to let moisture out. I've already tested it, it's too loud to try to show it to you. and. Uh, I guess if you really want to see it, there's a couple other videos of people doing this, but um, So it does work It gives a tiny little 
burst. I would like for it to give more, but there's no way to adjust that. And uh, what was my other complaint? Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, the like I said, the T was at Menards or Lowe's or something like that. And let me see here. Oh, here it was Lowe's. So that's going to be the part number at Lowe's. I'm sure you can get both of them at Menards, but I happen to be at Lowe's one day and Menards the other day. So there it is. I'm guessing that CP12 NLB or the 8, 8, or 877184. Um, that's what I have here tapped into that to run my line down down to the relief valve. This is the one that comes with the Harbor Freight. This one is set up for plastic, so you can't use it with the brass. Or I couldn't, I guess if you can. Leave me a message and tell me how you did it. But I couldn't, so there's that. And then I went to down to the bottom because the special relief valve was already set up, or the special purge valve was already set up for plastic. Um, I had this part here that I couldn't use because I'm still running the brass. See, you see where it's got the nipple permanently to it, and that's for the airlines. So I had to go and buy the compression style and correct threads on one side and then that. Uh, compression on the other. Anyway, here it is. This is from Menards now. A uh, quarter inch um, OD for the um, um, brass line, and then the other side is eighth inch MIP. And that will go into minor in possession. No, that will go into the relief valve, purge valve uh, right there. But it, obviously, it'll be the one that's compression style. So, Having said that, that's the part number LFA22, or maybe it's that number. Either way, you got both of them now. But, like I said, I just wanted to show you this video so you didn't have to hunt around. You got the part numbers now and everything. You'd be a lot faster than I did at putting yours together. The only thing I would have done differently is I would have ran the line behind the compressor. Um, just so I don't have this line here and I didn't want it touching either so I bent it in a way that it can't touch um, so that way I don't hear any vibration from it I don't know if I would have or not but that's the way I did it so maybe later I'll find something to that's plastic or rubberized and mount it to the side so this isn't just loose laying there uh, after you do all your fittings what I used was just uh, dishwasher soap and put on all my fittings with it fully pressurized and I had I think it was the both of these were leaking so I had to tighten those no big deal but uh, they were leaking enough that I couldn't hear it but I could see the bubbles anyways thanks for watching as I do modifications and add-ons and whatnot uh, I will be posting more videos like always. Sorry for the delays, I'm running out of stuff, so I need you, the viewers, to help me and give me suggestions of things you'd like to see, whether it be mechanics related or farm related. I'm going to start back doing the farming here in a minute, so if you have any questions, let me know. This is Zachary with Backyard Do It DIY. And make sure you're the reason that somebody smiles today.